Hi guys, it's Ashraf from WizEdu, and today we're going to be going through the section in finance, simple interest. So what exactly is simple interest? Well, simple interest is interest which is calculated on the original amount you've invested or borrowed only, and not on the interest already accumulated or added to the original amount. So just to visualize um, simple interest, we'll take an example. For example, we have 10,000 Rand invested in a savings account, and the bank pays us 10% simple interest per annum. So how would our bank balance look after a certain number of years? Well, let's go ahead and look at what our bank balance would look like after one year. So after one year in the bank, we'd still have the original 1,000 Rand we deposited but we'd also have accumulated 10% over this period. So we'd add 10% times 1,000. So that's the interest we'd earn for that one year. So we would have earned 100 Rand in our first year because 10% times 1,000 is 100. So that would bring our bank balance to 1,100 Rand at the end of one year. Now, how would this look after two years? Well, after two years, we'd still have the 1,000 Rand we initially invested. We'd have the 10% we also got in year one as interest. And we'd also have another 10% for year two. And this year two's 10% would also be multiplied by 1,000 Rand. And why is that? Well, we said for simple interest, we calculate interest only on the original amount and not on the interest already added to it. So we wouldn't look at this 1,100 Rand here um, to multiply our 10% by. We'd multiply it by the original. So we'd also only earn 100 Rand in interest in year two, bringing our bank balance to 1,200 Rand. And we'd see something very similar in year three. In year three, we'd still have the 1,000 Rand initially invested. We'd have the 10% we earned in year one. We'd have the 10% we earned in year two, and we'd also be entitled to 10% of the original thousand in year three. So we'd earn again only 100 Rand in year three, bringing our bank balance to 1,300 Rand. So you can see that each year, the interest we earn remains constant. So, and this is because simple interest is only calculated on the original amount. And because that original amount never fluctuates, your interest earned remains the same. Now, it seems a bit tedious to be performing these long calculations when you want to find out how much you would have earned after a certain number of years. So is there an easier way or an easier formula we can use to calculate what our bank balance would be after a certain number of years? Well, let's consider N years. What would our balance look like after n years? So you can see between years one, two, and three, we can see a certain pattern developing. We've always had that 1,000 Rand we initially invested into our account. We have the 10% we earn each year. That's always multiplied by our original amount, the 1,000 Rand. And we're multiplying, well, we're adding these terms each time round. So, for two years, we have two of these terms. And for three years, we have three of these terms. So what if we just multiply this by the number of years that have elapsed? So we can call that N, okay? So that would be like a shortcut formula uh, to find out what our bank balance would be after N number of years. And we can even further simplify this because we see a thousand here and a thousand there. So we can take 1000 out as a common factor. So that would then equal 1,000 into 1 plus 10% times N. And this is beginning to look like our formula for accumulated amount or the future value of an investment. So if you wanted to do this for any amount and any interest rate and any time period, you could replace the 1,000 with something called P, which would be our principal amount or original amount invested, that would be into one plus our interest rate we could call I for interest rate, and N would remain our time period. 
So that's how we calculate how much our bank balance would be after n number of years. It would be equal to P into 1 plus I n. And just a quick note that the 1,000 Rand that we put into our bank account was only deposited at the beginning of the period. So we didn't add 1,000 Rand after one year or add it each year. We've added a one-off 1,000 Rand. So this isn't an annuity, which we'll, we will cover a bit later. So just to look at our formulae, if you wanted to calculate the accumulated amount or what you've uh, gained over a certain number of years, this is the formula you would use to do that. And this is the formula we've just derived, where A is the accumulated amount or the final amount, your bank balance after a certain number of years. P is the original amount or the principal amount that you've put in or invested. We have one over here that's arbitrary. Um, I represents your interest rate, and remember your interest rate is as a decimal fraction. So if you're going to be calculating using I, you'd put in a percentage or something over 100 to make it a decimal, and N represents your number of periods or number of years. And why I say periods here instead of years is because a bit later we'll go into discussing how interest doesn't only have to be per annum, it could be quarterly, semi-annually, monthly. So we'll go into that a bit later. And now what if you didn't want to know your accumulated amount or your bank balance? What if you were just looking at returns on investment? You just wanted to calculate the total interest you have earned or gained over a certain period. What formula would you use to calculate that? Well, you could use this formula here where I represents the total interest you would have earned or is due to you, and where P is still your principal or original amount, I is your interest rate as a decimal fraction, and N is your number of years, or more specifically, the number of time periods your money has been invested for. And some of you might be more familiar with the following formula. They're exactly the same, it's just the notation is slightly different. Instead of A, we have F here. F is our future value, uh, which is the, exactly the same thing as our accumulated amount. The rest of the variables are the same. And for our total interest formula, we have SI instead of capital I, where SI stands for simple interest. They are exactly the same formula. It's just the notation is slightly different. So I'll just put that here in case some of you didn't recognize the A and the I. We are able to graphically represent simple interest as a straight line. And why is that? Well, that's because as you saw each year, we added a constant amount to our original value because our interest remained constant. So after one year, we added 100 Rand, bringing our total bank balance to 1,100 Rand. After two years, we only added 100 Rand in that second year to bring our balance to 1,200. And in our third year, we added another 100 to bring our balance to 1,300. So we've been adding a constant amount each year, resulting in a straight line. So what if we were, had to go about calculating the gradient of our graph? Because you can see that it's going to be constant. So let's take this point here, for example, where we have 3 and 1,300. And this point over here, where we have 1 and 1,100. We know our formula for gradient is delta y over delta x which in this case would be our change in A over our change in time periods, delta A over delta N. So that would be then 1,300 minus 1,100 over 3 minus 1. So that gives us 200 over 2, which gives us 100. So this represents the 100 Rand we are increasing by constantly each year. It's constant because, as you know, gradient is constant. And this is also represented to us in the formula. So if you look at this here, A equals P into 1 plus I N. We know that's our formula. And we know that our Y value must be A and our X value must be N because you can see on the X axis here we have N and on the y-axis, we have a. So if we treat the equation as such and 
we can just expand it here a bit. That would become P because P times one is P. That's P I N. We know that everything in front of the variable N, which in this case represents X, represents our gradient. So our gradient M is represented by P I because that's in front of our X variable. And you can see that remains constant because our principal amount is always constant. It was always 1,000 Rand, it never changed. And our interest rate was always 10%, that didn't change, resulting in our constant gradient and a straight line graph. So what we've basically discovered is that interest remains constant and that when we're dealing with simple interest, interest is always a percentage of the original amount and not of anything else, not of what's being grown over time. So let's just look at an example to consolidate the work we've done on simple interest. We are told that Riaz receives 500 Rand for his birthday. He deposits the money into his savings account. His bank offers him 7% simple interest per year and we are told to calculate the value of his savings in five years time and also to determine how much interest he has earned in these five years. So we'll start by using our formula A equals P into 1 plus I times N. We know that our principal or original amount is 500 Rand. We know that our interest rate is 7% um, simple interest per year and the time period we're looking at N is five years. So we can say that's equal to 500 into 1 plus 7% or 7 over 100 multiplied by 5. And if you punch that into your calculator, that's going to give an answer of 675 Rand. So he bank, his bank balance would be uh, 675 Rand after a five year period. And for our second bit of the question, we are asked to determine how much interest he has earned in these five years. So there's two ways you can go about doing this. You could either use your formula, which says that I equals P times I times N, and you could say your principal amount was 500, your interest rate was 7% or 7 over 100 per year, and your time period was 5, and that would give you an answer of 175 Rand. Alternatively, what you could do is you, say, you could say that your interest rate I equals your accumulated amount, so the 675 here minus your principal or original amount. So that would then be 675 minus your original of 500, which would give you the same answer of 175 Rand. And that's because the difference between your accumulated and principal amount had to have been whatever you added to that original amount. So in this case, that would be the interest you earned, 175 Rand. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this goes to explain simple interest and you've understood the concept of simple interest quite well.